it's your girl brand new and honey i am back in the building listen listen this time honey we are back for a part one of the carlos king interview uh that he did with toya bush harris and simone whitmore of the married to medicine honey okay so this is part one i gotta break this up because it's a lot you know to talk about so let's get off into it Carlos King and Simone, they squashed their beef. Do I think that there was a beef? I don't think that there was a beef. I think that Carlos began to see Simone for the evil bitch that she is. I think he saw how nasty she was in Napa to quad telling her to go home. Um, Will they ever admit that? No, because, you know, they want to play niceties. Carlos wants to be neutral with the girls. He wants them to all, you know, feel comfortable with coming on his podcast um, but yeah, I think that Carlos began to see Simone for the nasty piece of, piece of work that she is. This whole interview, what I got from Simone is what I always get, which is I'm going to always have a problem with Quad because the issue is not with Quad, it's with herself in Quad. I think Simone wants to be in control of her relationships. You can see it with her dynamic with Cecil, with Jackie. Um, you can see it with Toya. You can see it, but I think she feels like quad owes her that you know because quad is younger than her simone also doesn't respect boundaries that's why she felt so comfortable with bringing up quad's niece and the whole incident she heard uh quad when she when she said simone don't say it don't say it don't do it don't do it she heard quad and still proceeded to do otherwise and then got on here and and, and apologized because it looks good. It wasn't a real apology. Because to me, if you were really sorry, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have did that. If I were Quad, me and Simone would be done done. We would be done done. I don't think that their relationship will ever be healthy again. I feel like Simone has the wrong intentions towards Quad. I don't think she knows how to be anybody's friend. Um, Toya, she's also full of bullshiggity. She got... She got on here talking about, oh, well, I never tried to get Quad fired or Mariah. As soon as Quad got separated from Dr. G, they wasn't even divorced yet. You had Toya questioning why would Quad continue to come on couples trips because she's been a part of the group. Okay, so as soon as she got separated from Greg, you had uh, Toya trying to take money. Okay, out of Quad's check because y'all know they get big checks when they take those trips. Okay, that's money. Okay, so no, you you probably didn't come out and say, yeah, I want I want Quad fired from the show, but you had malicious intent because what was it, season six? You did that seven. You just kept on. You it was always you. It was always you mentioning Quad coming on the trip. What does she have to gain from coming on a couple's trip? Like, you really kept trying to push her out. So for you to think that she should feel like you are any friend of hers is crazy to me. Toya, you are delusional. You delulu. There's something wrong with you. And Simone. And that's why y'all are able to be friends, because both of y'all are messed up. Okay? Both of y'all. Y'all have shady, conniving ways. Um... And I'm going to call it out. I'm going to keep my foot on y'all neck. I'm going to call it out as I see it. But these women, they are no friend of Quad's. I believe they are jealous of Quad, jealous of her independence, jealous that she's still able to, you know, be on this show, even though they tried all they all they could this season to get her kicked off the show, to embarrass her, to malign her. And she was the star of the reunion. They never told Quad to, well, go back, you know, to the green room. We will call you when we're ready. She stayed out all three parts. It was Alicia. I think you only seen what in a second and third part. But yeah, Quad wasn't even in all the episodes. Okay. Well, she used to be the fan favorite. It looked like she still is. They love her at Bravo. Because trust me, if they wanted to be done with her, they would have been done with her. Okay? I think Toya wants a relationship with Quad, but Quad is not, um, Toya is not Quad's speed. Toya looks foolish to Quad. Toya does not take Quad's, um, no, Quad doesn't take Toya seriously. She doesn't. And it's because of how Toya carries herself. But Toya is so delusional, she doesn't know how badly like how bad she looks she doesn't she doesn't know carlos also talked about him offending sweet tea i'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because that's not even important um i feel like sweet tea is not strong enough to be on this show um you know yes she could joan you know with the best of them you know she came at heavenly a couple of times she cussed out jackie you know she has proven she is willing to go there but i just feel like she just does not fit and I think it's because she has some type of imposter syndrome where 
I don't know. I just feel like she's not herself all the time. I feel like she wears masks and plays different roles to act like she can take it there, but really she doesn't get this is this is TV. You know, I'm not supposed to be this mad and vicious. Like, Heavenly understands what this is. Probably a little bit too much. But Heavenly knows how to make good TV and then going about her business. Letitia, she would really want to fight and want to go down in the gutter. And Heavenly, like, girl, I'm not willing to do that. I'm willing to do it for the show. But I got a business. I got kids. I got my man. I ain't got time to do all of that with you. I ain't got time to play in the sandbox with you, girl. Okay? So that's kind of what I'm getting uh, with that whole thing. I don't like how Carlos said that this was a really awesome and amazing season because even Toya was like, well, what was so awesome about it? It wasn't awesome like that. I think all of you all have shown that this is a game of Survivor. This isn't really about friendships because if you truly honor your friends the way you say that you do, I just feel like y'all wouldn't have did that to Quad. Um, like I said before, they mentioned Quad said she was just there for her check. Probably because y'all were being nasty to her. If you're being nasty with me, it's going to cause me to be defensive and say certain things. So hell yeah, bitches, I'm here for my check. And what? What's the problem? You're there for your check. And we, the audience, we know y'all not friends. You really can't be friends with a bitch that's jealous of you, Toya. It, it'll never happen. It will never happen. So I think that both of them, Simone and Toya, they are jealous that they can't hang out with Quad and get her attention and keep her attention. I really do. When they see those videos of her hanging out with Portia and Yandy and the rest of the girls, Sierra, all them loving hip-hop Atlanta girls, they have a fit. They have a fit. It makes them sick. And I even caught uh, Simone saying, oh, well, her and Quad really not talking now. And I hate how she tried to make it look like Quad needs to keep up with her and check in with her all the time and... Girl, a relationship is not one-sided. I told y'all, anything that's one-sided is double-minded, and it, it is a representation of the devil. It is. So, girl, get up out of here, Simone. Okay, so Simone also talked about how Quad hadn't been around, I guess, for some weeks. She wasn't around. She hadn't signed her contract yet. What's the problem? What is the problem? Yeah, but she keeps getting away from the group. I'm going to say this. It kills some people when you have individuality. It kills them. They will, and that's what I see with Simone and Toya. They lack individuality. They really get their sense of purpose through being in a group, through probably with Toya, I told y'all, being married. Because look at what happened to Toya. Look at how lost Toya was without Eugene. She needed Eugene for guidance, okay? She's not a whole woman by herself. And because she lacks that, when she gets around Quad, she gets triggered, and then she wants to argue and fight Quad, okay? They both act like bullies with Quad. They will never admit to that. They will say that it's something that Quad is saying and doing, and they try to make it look like, well, Quad plays, you know, for the cameras, and off camera, she'll talk a certain way, then on camera, she'll say certain stuff, and it's just like, I think Quad is probably was acting funny in Napa, probably for the same reason she was acting funny at that, um, funeral scene. I don't know what the hell to call it. The rebirth. Uh, I don't know. Y'all know when she jumped up about the casket, honey. I saw how her and Toya was fighting. And what I got from Quad was, bitch, I'm not about to kiss your ass for this check. See, Toya and Simone and some of the women on the show, they be wanting you to kiss their ass, lick it, flip it, rub it down, smack it, twist it, pull it. Like, they really, they want you to grovel. That's what they did this whole season to Quad. They bullied her, they tortured her, and then played victim once the audience got, you know, got a whim to their bad behavior. Because I heard Simone say, yeah, I got dragged really bad. You got dragged really bad because you dragged somebody in a malicious, violent way. You didn't physically do it, but mentally and emotionally, you were abusive with Quad. Okay. Um, what I didn't hear from Toya and Simone was any apologies for their bad behavior in Napa. Uh, Toya was being nasty with Quad. There was this, I gotta get Quad, I gotta sink Quad. I watched all of last season, and it just tore Toya up that, you know, Quad was living her good life. She was confident. She was feeling good about herself. I told y'all it is a thing in the black community. Hell, in any community, you get around enough weak women, they don't like your confidence. They are comfortable in your sadness, in your loss, in your misery. Now that Quad, see, that's why Simone said what she said, you guys, at the reunion, because I want to repeat what Quad lost, which is her niece. That's why she said it. Pay attention to how people say stuff. That's why she said that the way that she said it, not 
shots. She didn't say all of that with all those details to let Andy know, but she had malicious intent. Let me tell everybody what you lost and how it was in your pool and it was on you. If you don't, if you didn't get that messaging with how Simone said that, child, you better uh, go sit with a, with a therapist, honey, with a psychiatrist. Like, I'm serious. It was all in how she said it. And then you get on the audience for dragging you, but you never get on yourself for your bad behavior. You never. So, child, make it make sense. Simone gets on quad for crashing Letitia's. Is her name Letitia? You guys, please put it in the um, sweet tea. I be forgetting her name. So, please put it in the comments, you guys. Uh, child. Because I'm so used to calling her sweet tea, but I don't want to call her sweet tea because she a little tired, honey. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Simone is getting upset with quad. It's, listen. These bitches are mad just to be mad. That is a thing. I'm sick of everybody acting like that's not a thing. When people want to hate you, they will just hate you. They will, you know, they don't like quad swag. They don't like her confidence. And you can tell that with any situation in life, if you're around somebody and they always feel like they need to humble you or they want you to be apologetic about everything you say and do, they don't like you. They, you know, they don't like you. They don't accept you. That don't mean you need to apologize all the time. They need to mind their own business. And um, Toya is thirsty, so is Simone. They want Quad's attention, and they cannot stand that they don't have Quad's attention. And they thought they would bully their way into getting her attention. And then the audience rag a tag tag that ass on the internet. We even got Dr. Jackie, too. Uh, all that shit that he came out with Jackie. See, they thought they was going to treat Quad like that, and then it wasn't going to be no consequences or repercussions, even heavily. See, all of them got hit, if you notice. They all got hit. Okay? And they don't like that. They tried to make it look like Quad is just this mean and malicious person, and she said and did these things for no reason. Toya, your husband keeps getting hit because he keeps getting his big ass in your beefs. And I don't care if he's your husband or not. He doesn't need to step into all of your beefs. Now, if somebody talks about y'all as a couple, then he can say something. But if she's coming at you for you just being a woman, then you gotta be able to take that, but you can't take it because you don't know how to stand on your own without Eugene. That's why, you know, child... Eugene and Toya are codependent, honey. They are not fooling me, and they can call it love all day, but yeah, that's what that is, okay? And like I said, I'm suspicious of them because I told y'all. I told you, okay? I told you. They don't show all of their lives, okay? Their real life, I should say. <laughs> all of their lives. <laughs> Days of our lives. <laughs> they don't show everything. That's why, don't you think that it's interesting that you didn't see Cecil and, um, Simone console Toya and Eugene and had an intervention with them about keeping their marriage and family together. Don't you find it funny that the Bravo cameras didn't capture that? But you always hear them saying, we're better than ever. Everything is all good. That's my boo. I love him. He catered to me. We only see this one side that Toya and Eugene want us to see. I told y'all they was at their realest when they was in text debt. That was the real Toya and Eugene and Toya was wearing them recycled wigs. Uh-huh. She had them wigs, honey, in rotation. They was cute, though. I gotta give Toya that. Toya has always been beautiful from day one. Like, out of all the girls, to me, she has, her face and stuff, it has changed the least. That girl was always beautiful, but Toya got an ugly soul. And just like my mama said, you may look good on the outside, but if your inside ugly, you ugly. I mean, I'm just saying. Listen. Okay, so next we got um, Simone talking about how Quad didn't reach out to Toya before going on the Napa trip. Um, like I said before, they wanted her to beg. They wanted her to grovel. Uh, Simone kept saying Quad didn't give Toya the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we should have had a one-on-one -on -one of Toya and Quad talking. And once again, what I hear is you need more attention from his squad. You, you want more validation. Um, here go Toya. Yeah, it's been years since me and Quad had a one-on-one. -on -one. So when you hear a woman talking like that, ladies, you know what time it is. This is somebody that is a fan. This is somebody that needs some attention. I know all about this because I got the family members that want my time, that want my attention. As soon as they didn't get it, they would hurl the most nastiest and the most malicious lies about me ever. Okay? So I know what I'm looking at as it pertains to Simone and Toya and Quad. They need Quad's attention and validation, and if they don't get it, they will act like bullies. They will, and be nasty and aggressive and dismissive of her. And when you're real friends with somebody, you don't never feel the need to act like that with them. Um, you just wouldn't come in that way because you would be like, well, this is my friend. And since y'all want all this attention from Quad, why don't y'all set the meetings up? See, it's a setup when somebody says, well, why won't you do it like this or do it the way that I would do it? That's how you would do it because you are the one with the problem. 
You want some attention. You want a little extra. Simone also said, well, whenever you are into it with a whole group of people, you are the common denominator. You are the problem. That's not the case all the time. You can't use that. That's not the case. I see what you are saying, and I see, you know, where you are going with this, but that's not the case all the time. Well, nobody wanted to fly with her. Nobody nobody wanted to do that because of you all, the bullies. And you got Phaedra, her ass, she's scared because she didn't just came from a situation with Real Housewives of Atlanta where did nobody want to be bothered with her. So, Quad, hopefully you know how to maneuver with Phaedra. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be fooling with Phaedra. You didn't show me your hand, bitch. We're done. You don't have any loyalty to me. And they really set the tone and they set the precedent that, you know, nobody is to film with Quad, be her friend, give her a little grace. And y'all were the ringleaders. Jackie ain't got that much of an issue with no damn Quad. You can't convince me otherwise. And I wish Contessa was on the show. Contessa wouldn't have did that. One thing about Contessa, she could be all the way wrong, but she will authentically be herself. And she wouldn't have did that to Quad. So, yeah, these are women that want to control Quad. I heard Toya say, oh, well, she signs her contract late. And then um, we had been filming for almost a month or two months. And, you know, and it's why are y'all so bothered? You just like Mariah said, you, you're going to have different relationships with people. It doesn't mean that they don't care for you or you don't care for them. You, may, you have friends. You don't talk to them every day, but they still your damn friends. Right. But y'all are not really friends. Y'all are nosy. There's being nosy and there's being concerned. These bitches are nosy. They're not concerned about Quad. And according to them, she's only concerned about them for a check. And that's a nice check. So, shit, I would act concerned, too. <laughs> Look, emphasis on act, because I don't like y'all. I don't think y'all are likable. Even Jackie and Heavenly. I, I see that Heavenly has kind of let up on the Quad situation, because Heavenly is kind of over it. Um, Jackie has kind of let up. Simone said at the reunion she let up, and then we see this interview. Do you see what I'm saying? You didn't let up. She's never going to let up off of Quad. She's going to always have an issue with Quad because she wants to control Quad. That, that's what the problem is. There are women that's like that. If they cannot control you, they don't want nothing to do with you. And they feel like because they have proximity to you that they should be able to control you. That's what, that's what they believe. They got on Carlos for his love of Quad. What's wrong with somebody loving on Quad? Y'all sure as hell don't know how to love on her. Okay. So, yeah, they was bothered by all the support that Carlos gave Quad, um, you know, when he did that interview with her. Like I said, I, I love that they they really they really were malicious with Quad by sending her home on that trip. They were really nasty with Quad. They were very dismissive. But when I tell you uh, Carlos picked Quad right on up and he still, you know, demonstrated that she has a friend in him. You know, like, he's willing to have her back when the other girls don't. I really, I like that. I like people that are like that. That's what life is about. Because I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to be around a whole bunch of followers. I can't tell you how many times I've had issues with one person, and then it'll end up being all these other people just because those people are friends with the people that I dislike. Like, it's a lot of followers in the world. Carlos said that he was triggered by Quad being exiled out the group. Um... And then Toya was like, oh, well, do you feel like we did the same thing to Mariah? Carlos said no. Um, Simone says that they don't have that type of power. Uh, you guys do have power, and you know it. You do have power. Because you know if, if you don't film with Quad, or if you're not welcome, welcoming to Quad, and you can get the other girls not to do so either, um, then nobody would you know, want to film with Quad, and guess what? She ain't going to be on the show. Just like, what happened? So it's like, I didn't understand that, you guys. When I tell you, I didn't understand that at all. It's like, we saw it happen, okay? We seen it. So Carlos says, with his producer hat, what he would have did was schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Toya, and then after Toya and Quad, you know, made amends, then he would have Toya reintroduce her back into the group, and then so on and so forth. She can make up with the girls. That ain't gonna happen because um, Toya is more of a hater of Quad than she is of Mariah. 
And I know some people will say, yeah, but she fought Mariah, and yeah, but Quad is more of the threat and more of the easy target. Because Toya is just like Eugene. They feel like Quad is worthless and she doesn't have a man to take her side. We have seen Aiden come to Mariah's defense and have her back. They know Quad is, you know, oh, she should be easy. She just, she just by herself. But Quad shit is a tornado. She is a force to be reckoned with, honey. Ain't that what Dr. G said? So, um... Toya then brought up, well, that's what we did in season five with Mariah, where I reintroduced her back into the group by inviting her to the New Orleans trip. Yeah, Toya, but you also got mad when the other girls wasn't mad that Mariah was there. You left that part out, bitch. Okay, you left that right on out. Yeah, you, you, your ass, you threw a temper tantrum and got upset. Even Mariah was like, Toya, what happened? Like, Toya, you, you wanted them to be mad at me? Like, Mariah was so confused. And she's just, and yes, Toya wanted those girls to be mad at Mariah, but she ended up saying, no, I just feel like they're being fake and we're never really going to move forward. And listen, I'm going to say this, them women didn't really care for Mariah, you know, for whatever reason, they did not like Mariah, probably because she lied a lot. She did. I don't give a damn if you're a fan of hers or not. Mariah would lie about stupid shiggity. Um... I think that because her and Quad had issues, she wanted all the girls to turn against Quad. I do. And when they didn't do that, she said, oh, they chose Quad's side over mine. And no, you can't make people be on your side. You can't make them be on Quad's side. Um, like I said, where Mariah didn't play the game the right way was she she was not likable. I even heard her um, clowning Eugene. Okay, she clowned Eugene because she was like, yeah, I didn't like what he said about me. And, and I was talking, I guess... Eugene alluded to the fact that while on set, Mariah would talk shiggity about production. I believe it. I, we saw your bad behavior. Okay, it was counterproductive. Um, Cecil alluded to, you know, she was rather insubordinate, you know, with some of the tactics she would pull. I've seen that out of her and Aiden. What was it, season six with them fake receipts? And then how he tried to bully his way on stage to check Quad. He didn't say nothing, but he was trying to intimidate Quad. So, like, when you, look, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. People can see you. People be thinking you can't see through the bullshit that they do. And we can't. So Mariah's hands ain't clean. Aiden's hands ain't clean. And that's it. That's it. And that's all. But yeah. So, and then um, Mariah also mentioned that she don't like that. I think it was Eugene that said, well, he's sick of the rumor that all the girls got rid of Mariah. And they said that Mariah's issues was with mainly, you know, production. That's who her issues was with. Um... And I guess it never got better over the years. And it was what it was, honey. Toya, Toya mentioned everything that has happened with Quad, my husband, my kids. Why are you bringing your kids into this? Your kids ain't got nothing to do with this situation with Quad. You need to quit. Well, back in season one, I don't care what Quad said season one. I, I, I could care less. That was season one. When... What, she looked up your business and you was accused of driving drunk or whatever happened. You are not still mad over that. You want to be able to use that as ammunition for being aggressive with Quad and trying to kick her off of this platform. That's what you want to do, Toya. You ain't got me fooled. What Lisa Nicole say? I'm not Eugene, bitch. <laughs> you don't boss me around. You don't tell me what to do, honey. Yes. <laughs> Toya got to uh, getting on heavenly. And how heavily plays to the audience, quad plays for the cameras. She's all nice and innocent off, on camera. Off camera, she's real nasty. And last year, she didn't apologize. You were saying stuff, too. You accused her of sleeping with her contractor. Carlos, why didn't you mention all of that? And I think he was trying to let them talk. Okay? That's that's all I can make of Carlos's behavior. Because, Carlos, you was acting like a fan. You wasn't really in your bag when as, asking these fools these questions. Because, Toya, girl, we can see you. What about you and Simone? What's y'all roles on the show? To get people kicked off the show, to make sure that don't nobody like the person and don't want to film with them, okay? Y'all love that y'all got Phaedra more on y'all side than on quads, and she the one that knew quad the longest on the show and hung out with her the most and had, hell, but quad is the one that got Phaedra on the show because when you get on these shows, you just can't come. Just just because your name is Phaedra, you got to have some type of connection, and she went the quad and Dr. G route. I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, to me, they wasn't being honest. They wasn't being forthright. They wasn't um, using, you know, any type of self-reflection. They wasn't. They wasn't telling it like it is. 
These two are phony. They're fake. They're food gazy. <laughs> Shout out to Mariah, honey. <laughs> Woo. They need to bring Mariah back. They should. <laughs> Look, they, I never thought I would say that, but maybe they should. Maybe they should, because that was that would shake some stuff right on up. Okay? They would that would shake some stuff right on up. And I think some of these people was like would really be like, damn, we don't want her back on the show. We gotta get it. Look, we gotta get it together. Just let Mariah come back for a couple of episodes. And then I, what I don't want to hear from Mariah, though, is, well, this is my show. I don't want to hear that shit. So she would have to have been evolved, honey. Y'all think Mariah is evolved enough to come back to the show and not have hurt feelings? I'm sure she go. I'm sure she's going to be in her feelings about a few things, but you would have to be, like, professional. And, you know, it could be done, but can it be done by Mariah? Because y'all know how she is, honey. Mm-hmm. Y'all know how she is. But, yeah, we're going to leave that right there, you guys, for part one. And then I will be back with a, with a part two. Hopefully, we ain't got to do part three and four. But we'll see because it's a lot to talk about. Don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, Brand New, and I will check you guys out in the next video.